Hey there, everybody. I have breaking news regarding the Washington State Patrol. 127 different people who work for the Washington State Patrol no longer work for the Washington State Patrol due to the governor's vaccine mandate. And what that may mean for you and your criminal case, if you want to find that out, stay tuned. My name's Lance Freivier. I'm a criminal defense attorney in Linwood, Washington, and I put out these videos to help educate the public. And this is a breaking news video. 127 different people that work for the state patrol no longer work there as of just a few days ago. And 67 of the people that were terminated or quit over not being vaccinated, basically, were state troopers. And so this might have a great effect on uh, your criminal case if you have a criminal case that's pending right now. So who does this affect? If you're charged with a DUI, if you're charged with some form of reckless driving, even some traffic tickets, speeding, things like that, negligent driving, um, you're going to want to take a look at what state patrol person was involved in your case. Um, we're going to provide a list, at least of current as of what we know here, and a link to the video of who, who we think no longer works for state patrol. We're getting it from other public sources. So, um, you know, it can change and it may or may not be 100% accurate, but we're going to try. Um, but basically, uh, it's my belief that if you had a state trooper pull you over for DUI or a traffic ticket or something where they're the primary piece of evidence in your case, that it's most likely the state is not going to be able to prove that case anymore. It's most likely that the state patrol person who no longer works for the state patrol may have another job or may do something else or just may not want to testify against you. So you need to talk to your defense attorney. So if you're currently charged with a crime that involves the state patrol, what you need to do is see if you can figure out which state patrol person was involved in your case, okay? Uh, what uh, what the status of your current case is, right? Is it still pending? Has it been filed or not filed? And then finally get a hold of your attorney or defense attorney to figure out, um, does that state trooper still work for the state patrol? Because again, uh, the government has to prove their criminal case if there's one against you through witnesses. And if their witness is no longer available, um, they're not going to be able to do it, most likely. And some prosecutors will tell your defense attorney when a trooper is no longer there, and, and I think some won't, okay? So you can't assume that just because a witness is not available anymore that you're going to know that automatically. So don't make a mistake. Don't go plead guilty to a crime right now involving the Washington State Patrol until you're sure that this mass exodus from the Washington State Patrol uh, does not affect you because if it does affect you your case may get thrown out so if you have any questions feel free to give my office a call again my name is lance Freiber. i have a defense firm in linwood washington we've been defending people charged with crimes for more than 20 years and uh, we do have a list that we're keeping we're trying to help our clients see who it affects and uh, if you've got a, any type of criminal charge and you just need legal help feel free to reach out to us give us a call and we'll be there for you thank you